guys do you understand how hr functions uh, yes yeah what do you mean by hr when i say hr what do you understand by hr hmm anybody it's a general thing see today let us always understand the moment you are taking up a course on any hr related activity it has to be both the ways a communication kind of a lectures it cannot be one sided okay you need to tell me what do you understand by hr first anybody generally, no. generally hrs uh, will be recruiting and that uh, they'll be taking care of the termination process and the uh, whatever the comp whenever any new joinee has appeared uh, means uh, into the organization they'll be taking care of it uh, for all the process and uh, so uh, when you yeah so good that's one of the aspects now let me let me can you all see my screen on excel sheet i have open can you see this yes okay so as mr raja was telling me you do what is called as hire hire to retire right retire activities right now and when you say hire to retire activities what all will come in that what are all the activities that they do any hr are you working mr raja somewhere yes you are working okay uh, saket you are working right you working yes, i am working right yes so when you you are already on as a payroll analyst are you yes. on the technology side of a payroll analyst or just a general hr payroll analyst no i am at uh, uh, i do the payrolls of uh -huh. the employee in uh, sap hcm very good excellent okay now we, i will talk about that aspect but but i, I have a basic questions because some of them are still new to the technology right what i see okay. is so let us understand now you know this this is hire to retire is one of the processes of hr apart from that so let me list down a basically let me understand and list down all the activities that hr does in a company right if i am a hr of a company i do recruiting correct i do onboarding of an employee then i do employee maintenance right or not you need to tell me okay it's going to be an interactive session please employee maintenance then i do their performance appraisals right yeah then we do their compensation changes right we do that right apart from, along with the yeah. managers yeah. and stuff we do their compensation changes right then yeah. we we guide them on their what is called as career development so if anything goes wrong in the company you you apart from your manager you go to the hr of the company right to complain or to uh, take a guidance or seek anything am i correct yes 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 so there is a yes. career development and when you say i want to have a progression in my company in my company or i want to go to the next level today most of you are in the executive levels now you say i want to scale up to a senior level or as somebody who are in the senior level next level of my cadre or what of my hierarchy what do you need you need a career development correct now when you go to when you talk about career development you go to whom to contact at hr or your manager correct and then yeah. they will say you also have to do certain learning courses so today you are coming to this course or this class is because somewhere you want to develop yourself into a being, being a strong hr am i correct yes or no yes so you want to become a strong hr you cannot say i will just do only re hire to recruiting i will run from the pillar to the i just do the catch hold of few documents and then run from pillar to post 
Am I correct? Yeah. Yes or no? Right? So what are the activities that we do? Right from recruiting, onboarding. I'm coming to each and everything. Then I'll take you to the technology, please. There are so many concepts that most of them do not know. Even being a SAP HCM career employee or who are working on SAP HCM, but there are certain things. Learning, co learning courses you finish. Then you finish what is called as, then you understand, then you understand learning, then compensations you have done, career development, then, then you do a succession planning. There is also something called as a succession planning. You know what, have, have you heard about this term, anybody? Uh, not yet. Not yet, right? So others, how many are now? I, I see 10 participants in the entire Yes, now in the in the in the in this particular zoom right i want each and every of you need to talk to me absolutely it's going to be an interactive session no 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 difficult questions at all please ensure that you're all interacting with me if you have not understood ask me okay the sessions are going to be very very interactive sessions okay yes. so when you say HR, you are not literally taking these things. These are all the 10 to 15 activities would be there. Do you agree with me? Yes. You. Those who yes. are a, a part of a company or not a part of a company as well. Okay. For those who are joining as a freshers into a company or those who are pursuing a career into corporate world, Please understand, HR plays a major role and HR does all these 9 to 10 activities. Got, got it? Okay. Right? Now, we are going to go deeper into this to understand how these are to be maintained. How do we see this? What was the previous technology? Now, what is the new technology? Got it? Now, all this was a paperwork couple of years ago, say 25 years ago, everything was a paperwork. For example, when you probably, uh, you know, it was something like this. I would say when you guys were, uh, you, know, in, you know, in schools or when you're, you know, some of them were worked or whatever the case might be. Previously or now also certain companies have you are started using box files for maintaining or getting their rig you know finding people for a job hiring them putting into the company getting them into the everything was maintained in manual paper job later on i want to give you some a kind of a story how a technology evolvement happened right in the year 1975 okay a, in a place called waldorf Okay, five ex-employees of IBM, ex-employees of IBM company came into IBM, okay, identified certain technology, okay. What was the technology? Why are they having it? Because, you know, in the during 75, that is 72, 1972 to 75, just before that, there was a second world war. Okay, wherein most of the data that employees were having, see, you know this in Waldorf, Waldorf is a place in Germany. When you look at Germany and all, there were, what has happened is there was more of automobile industries. Correct? Do you agree? All your BMW cars or your any other car material or everything is coming from Germany. Any other automobile, any bike that you do right now or use is basically first initiated in Germany because their automobile industry is in Vogue. Now, when that company, guys, one second, one, I want to, one question. Are you guys hearing me? Am yes, I all enough? Is my English yes. okay? Tell yes. me about it, Allah. Which language no. do you prefer? I'm sorry. I English. Just... Hmm? English is best, ma'am. English is better. Everybody yeah. can understand. Hindi bhi yeah. chalega, English bhi chalega, Telugu bhi chalegi, Tamil bhi chalega, jo bhi baat hai. No, chalega. But if you are clear, let me know. If you have questions, please let me also know. Okay? So, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, actually, I have a doubt on what is like uh, employee maintenance. Coming. We are coming. I'll come to that. Let me just tell okay. you the small story and then come to that. Okay? Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, in, in the year 1975, as I said, these people, the Germany had a lot of 
are post world war effects there are lot of data employee data got destructed okay so some company ibm what is ibm for full form anybody hmm anybody what is the full form of ibm company no what is this huh it's okay no questions no questions okay now then what happened this ibm company of these employees started thinking in their way where to identify and capture the data in the form of big computer do you know this fourth generation computers etc when you were small you were studying in the school fourth generation third generation computers a big mainframes boxes big boxes where they used to store the data in the form of bits and bytes in the same way they these five ex employees captured all the data and we were trying to handle now what was the basis of having this data collected by them put it in the computers always remember the er evolvement i would say evolvement of these technology these technology happened because of five ms you know this anybody knows this no man machine money material and management what is this five ms man machine without a man will any company work please no ma'am machine without machines will you work in the office no why why saket raja so you know the uh, laptop no why you know payroll you are a payroll person you should be able to work yeah. will you be able to work without a machine no no i cannot <laughs> okay i'll give you man and machine but i will not pay you will you work no exactly why because ultimately you are working for money correct right? yes now then if i'll give you man machine money but i won't give you material for the child but will you work guys can you mute please others please mute when i ask you to unmute kindly unmute there's a disturbance i would request everybody to mute themselves please hello can everybody mute mr raja can you mute please yeah okay so basically if i give you man machine money and i will not give you material will you guys work no if there is no proper management will you be able to work no we cannot why you need certain kind of a discipline decorum yes. everybody has to come together right if in your office i'll quote an example in your office right now you come but the others don't come on time will you work will you will you will you be able to work perfectly will you be no. able to deliver the uh, doc, uh, de de whatever you need to deliver correctly will you be able to do your deliverables correctly no we cannot do you it. need management yes so man is identified as a human resource right machine is identified as a pro, you know production concept production process money is usually identified as finance material is logistics and management is identified as admin do you agree with me admin related activities do you agree with me guys hmm yeah so without man there is nothing will start 
without machine no if no production no sales nothing then you will not have money for no finance without all these logistics maintenance properly you will not have any of these things probably because people will work in their haphazard way and without proper management you will not so all these five m's play a vital role in comprising or becoming a company do you agree now when a small company with 100 people 100 to 1000 people is a company firm is about 100 people 100 to 200 people is a firm and then enterprise is more than 1000 to 10000 to 1 lakh people and then you know industry and industry to enterprise it's more than 10 lakh employees 15 lakh employees 30 lakh employees you know you have worldwide companies right big companies so what happens there is a concept that they brought into existence called erp enterprise resource planning enterprise what is this enterprise resource planning guys understood enterprise resource planning you might have studied in your mbas and etc if at all you know otherwise i'm explaining it to you enterprise resource planning is in a company since you have so many people and so much of activity is happening on a day to day basis you are trying to see the optimum use of resources these five uh, you no know, things that you are saying are the resources of a company these five things are the resources of the company human resource human human resource production process finance logistics admin other resources any leakages in any of the processes or resources will lead to company loss so this enterprise resource planning e or the erp concept identifies the optimal use of resources in a company am i clear or any questions please am i clear all of yeah. you yeah so yeah even though each one has its own process so for example within human resource you have now i'll put the same thing here within human resource okay this is human resource i am just giving it a good color so that you guys understand human resource activities are all this right finance activities will be different production process activities will be different they are not like human resource activities so logistics activities will be different admin activities will be different but each one has to integrate within themselves that is each one has to be connected with the amongst themselves to form a perfect company do you agree yeah yes each one each one if human resource if human resource department doesn't hire people for production you will not be able to produce the amount of uh, uh, what do you call it articles or anything amount of uh, commodities that you need to produce on time if once production is happening if the sales don't happen then the money is not generated into the company the finance team also has to play play a major role create understanding how much is the income versus expenditure then all the logistics all the materials in your go down or has to be sold so there is a cycle a cycle of activities that are happening one to the other one one input becomes the output for the other output becomes the input for the other something like you no know, it goes in that cycle so all these are interrelated based on these concepts and based on this erp the 5x employees of ibm created an application called sap system application products in data management data processing system application product why did they say product there is a difference between a product and a process processes can be within a product but products will not be within a process are you understanding all of you are there whoever is there right processes are a 
are the ways to create a product. You create a process, you create a methodology, you create a step-by-step -step to create, to generate a product. So, system application product means for each activity, human resource, they created an application which is a product in itself because their activities differ from the other activities. Production activities differ from the HR activities. So for each activity, they have created different processes and, they had, and in itself it became a product. So five ex-employees of IBM in the year 1975 created what is called as a system application product. Clear? And this application was, is, was called as on-premise human resource, human capital management. In the years, later years, in 2000, 2010, it became human capital management. It was basically SAP HR module. How many of you have done this SAP HR module, please? Within this entire this thing? I think you can raise your hands if I'm not wrong or you can just say yes. Unmute yourself and tell me. Hmm? How many of you have done this? Okay, let me stop the screen. And okay. So how many of you have done SAP HCM course or HR course? Nobody? Sakit, you have done? Uh -huh. Right now, I'm doing as a payroll, uh, payroll only. Uh -huh. But I tried, I tried for uh, doing the SAP HCM uh -huh. and uh, learning of the modules. Uh -huh. um, but I couldn't finish on time. Okay, no problem. What about Mr. Raja? Oh, Raja, I just jumped out. Is it okay? But then I believe he is he is a person who has done SAP HCM, right? He was telling us, right? So I'm again going back to my screen. I'm just sharing my screen again. So one second. Huh. So basically what is happening? You are, are you, are you clear till here? All the girls and the uh, people in the team. I, I, somebody said they wanted, they had a question. Is it Sandhya? I don't know. Hello. Anybody have a question here, please? I was asking about employee maintenance actually. Is it, oh, Sunaina, is it Sunaina? Yeah, right? yeah, ah, yeah. Yes, Sunaina, coming there, coming there, okay? Now, is till this, this part, is it clear, please? Is till this part, is it clear? Any questions? No. Is it clear, this, this is very clear? So, the <laughs> involvement of SAP HCM happened, happened on this particular grounds and principles. Now, Coming to the concept of SAP HCM, which is also called as on-premise data, what did they do is they were doing basically hire to retire process. In this hire to retire process, there is something called as employee maintenance. Why? I'll tell you. Now, you guys understand recruiting? Sunaina? Yes, I understand. You understand recruiting. So what how do what do you do in recruiting aspect? Uh, we uh, we select the candidates and we uh, take the interview for them hmm. and we see the eligibility criteria whether hmm. they fit into the position or not. Huh. So that is one of the part of the entire process, right? How to recruit? You're recruiting, you're sourcing the candidate, somebody who is not a part of a company, not a part of your company or somebody who's an external. We usually say he's an external candidate, right? Yeah. 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 So external candidates, you're trying to bring him into your company. Okay. Yeah. So you don't yeah. have a process. So you understand within recruitment also, there is a small process, a different process. Correct? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right now, yes. I am. I right now, I am only going to talk about HR, please, because you're all HR related people. I'm not going to talk about the other areas. 
okay okay i'm not going to talk about the other areas i'm not talk i'm only talking about the hr aspect okay now when we come into the hr aspect you know recruiting itself has a different process what will you do you are identifying the resources somebody is giving you a she a requirement right that is called job requisition they give you yes. the requirement and then your some departmental manager will say i want this person this position to be filled in in the company he need needs to be an mba person he needs to have two years of experience in so and so and then he will give you the details and based on that you will start sourcing the resource correct yes right now that's yes. it and when you schedule an interview maybe it's based on your company process you can have two rounds of interview or three rounds of interview like that and then you select them then after discussion you offer you do an offer that is basically an offer letter you give him where he accepts or rejects based on his requirement and joins what yes. is onboarding once the employee is recruited once an employee he has signed the offer letter he is legally he still you know he is not legally bonded by the company but he is legally responsible for you know because he has accepted it he is he becomes you know until he says yes i'm going to join on so and so day then you will start getting his things ready like laptop ready seating arrangement ready id cards or any special accesses to the applications all this is will be a part of your onboarding activities onboarding means you are welcoming the person into the company with all the required things ready by the time he joins the company am yeah. i clear yeah right everybody yeah. is everybody i mean aligned with me everybody is saying yes to me or yes, you have yes. a different thought clear everybody yes. right yes. yes next comes employee maintenance i'm coming to the concept so now now employee yeah, maintenance yeah. means that the person once onboarded till he becomes an employee you cannot guarantee whether he'll come out and join the company or not even though he has signed the offer letter he might not join the company might not come to the company and pick the uh, you know required articles like in the sense of you know he might not say i'm confirming to join the company correct yes or no yes yes huh? yes so you might have seen these cases wherein people say i'm going to join tomorrow but suddenly he decides not to join and he'll join the next company yes yes it happens now what is employee maintenance that is why in the lay, in any application that is a computerized application why do you need a computerized application because you doing manually all these data will be a cumbersome job so what do you do you try to ensure the system does this activity on behalf of you this is called system automation of your operations Okay. so using sap hcm or any hr applications you are trying to automate your processes now coming to the employee maintenance what happens is after the onboarding the hr of the company till now also hr recruiting team will play that job now the rec hr that is hr bps you might have heard this word hr bps hr business partners or hr managers or senior hr executives these are the people who are responsible for employee maintenance what do they do uh, from the onboarding once the employee has signed and is come to the office from the time of his coming there they'll collect certain documents ensure mm. ensure all the documents are updated into the system and then in the applications he's already come he's already signed the documents he's there but in the system for the system to understand they do a hiring activity in the application it is a mandatory system needs to understand that you you are hiring him even though you have put him onboarded him that data is there or recruitment data is there employee maintenance means you are hiring them in the system again to ensure that their data is maintained what is the data maintenance here you will talk about his joining date his personal details 
his um, you know his uh, addresses his uh, per, you know aadhar cards or national ids you will ca capture all these details which department he has joined who is his manager what timing he is coming in what is the grade which is the level he is in is he a junior level guy is he a middle management person is he a top level management person you need to understand all these things so this is basically employee maintenance okay understood okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Ha. Huh. Now, once you do that, there might be cases where you are the employee can be transferred from one car, one one location to the other location, or one department to the other department. Now, as a HR person, you are maintaining this data in the system. So that is called employee maintenance. Okay. Got it. All yes. the other activities like performance, compensation changes, anything, anything from four to you know till nine, whatever activities you do on that employee, automatically will become a part of employee maintenance. Okay. Got it? Yes. That is called employee data, also okay. or master data. Okay. Clear? Any questions yeah. clear, please? All of you? No, ma'am. No. Right? Now, all this was happening on the on-premise. What do you mean by on-premise? Usually, guys, understand you have something like this in the real in a you know, in a technology system. There is a database, there is an application layer, there is a presentation layer. Can you see my screen, all of you? Yes. Yes. Right? What is a database? Now, don't give me some, uh, you know, real jokes like this. What is database means? Just give me proper understanding. What do you understand by database, if at all you know? Uh, database means, uh, like, uh, say, uh, the information what you have uh, about the candidate uh, related to the work Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Any other thoughts? Anybody? I see so many. Only two people are talking. Others, are you hearing me? You're not interested? Is it interesting? Not interesting? Hello? Is anybody it there? It is interesting. It is interesting, right? You're getting to know something new, right? But... I want everybody's participation, please. Kindly talk. Kindly talk. I don't want this, you know, already winter morning, everybody's got up early and then sitting in front of the systems. Hmm? Holiday mood, set in. Somebody needs to talk. Vamsi, Sandhya, you're there? Or you're the same person who's talking to me? I don't know. Somebody's got a phone number. Xiaomi. Can I call you all this? Is it your name? Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Actually, database means uh, which we are uh, collecting the regular basis. Database means? Uh, which we are collecting regular basis. Ah. Okay. Let, let me just put it in a refined words. Okay. What happens is, I'll just give you a simple understanding. Whatever you are doing, for example, let us take a, let us relate to your general daily activities, okay, in your house also. You collect gold or you collect silver, right? Now, where do you put them? We put them in the locker or uh, a safer place. Safer place, right? And whenever you want, you will use it. Or you will yes. access them through, you know, you will access them through something. Similarly, <coughs> in the company, the moment <coughs> I have about 10, 100, 10 to 100, 50, uh, 150, 2,000 or 3,000 or 5,000 employees, their data, their company details become a most confidential details, right? Okay. And you also maintain them in the form of some tables and rows in an application. It's a database layer, we say. It's a database store. It's a storage of your data. Okay, database is nothing but a storage of your data. This storage of data, you handle it in a, you know, as a backend activity so that whenever you want to see a data, suppose, say, for example, 
uh, is uh, you know uh, so sunaina is joined the company in 2018 today it is 2023 almost 5 years or 7 years over and then she is there in the company we need to promote her. what what was her role at that time what is our role so how do i get to know your roles etc the data is constantly being fetched from the database i am storing your data suppose say somebody has resigned the company and gone back and he wants to join back after 2 years so this person has gone back and now is coming back again means i need to check certain data it is in the back end right yes right yes. somewhere i'm pulling the data from true, true. Um, it's a storage of data always this database layer is in the form of tables and rows tables okay. and rows in the sense each table will consist of certain data for example my personal data will be in one table my official data will be in one table my you know my transfer data will be in one table like this the each data will be stored in different tables and rows in a sequential manner got it this data will come into the front end based on your application pull Got okay. it? Okay. Okay. Now, usually, Oracle was the company that used to handle databases, HRMS, okay. SAP, the system, this SAP company, which most of us are using for HR purposes, etc. Used to use Oracle database as our base for storing our data. Okay. Got it? then what is this application layer application layer is for example now right now you are in front of the laptop right you are able to see my screen that is called a presentation layer now whatever you type is going through the application layer to the database now whatever you are typing here sometimes you are you are storing it is storing it in the cloud whatever data that i am doing or sometimes yes. it is storing it in my laptop my own desktop folder but how is it coming i am typing it on the screen it is going through the application layer and it is going and storing in the database because these are all connected okay. are you understanding Pav yes. uh, everybody saket and everybody right yes. so you are yes. now now what happened all this while till 2016 the sap company used oracle data oracle dba that is database administration system as a database layer and they used to have connect the laptops or the computers through the, in the application layer whenever you query whenever you type i want to this whatever you are typing on the screen this is this is madhuri this is this is sunaina this is whenever you type it is going back via application layer to the database layer questioning or checking in the database layer yes if you are sunaina then it will pick up the value from there and whichever the application is i mean whichever the computer is free through that computer it will show you start showing out on our screen here it is all happening in nanoseconds are you understanding what i'm trying to say so yes this part is called this three layer is called r3 r3 okay. three tier system three tier okay. architecture why do we have an application layer because if you have laptops like suppose 1 2 3 one or not only laptops if you have computers like 1 2 3 whichever system is free in the application layer the moment you create a you know query or question what is my name or you see whenever you open application there is some kind of a chat thing that comes up say what do you want how can we help you you type in there i want this then immediately that question passes whichever computer is free from this computer to this particular database layer it will pass and it will fetch the data from that and whichever is free it will come back to you again are you clear so this is called three tier system now what happened in sap hsap on premise system this layer of this thing had to be maintained by all the clients now the concept of client and you know client and then you know dev, you know what you call product company what is this now sap is a product company 
correct okay. yes client is any company like say for example pepsi mm -hmm. or coca cola or any any small kind of a company any company any fmgcg anything that you take apart from it companies what happened is these people came the clients came into the sap and said i want to convert my operations using the application that you have developed for hr into in my operations i want to incorporate those in my operations what happened then sap company said okay so many companies are reaching out to me i want to give licenses to certain companies called service companies who are ready who get trained in my this thing they can get official licenses from my company to do the business so what happened sap has the identified companies like ibm accenture ey deloitte Uh, I E Y Deloitte A D P all these companies okay have become a license official or platinum or most top most license holders of S A P. So what happens? S A P gives them the licenses to use the application of S A P and make business in the market. So what they do? today you are going and approaching adp or ey to come here. but ideally these people pay royalty to sap for using sap's applications and doing their businesses am i clear yes yes saket clear yes very huh? clear okay so once these clients what are the clients you can say let me take a simple understanding client is pepsi company okay then you have coke coke coca cola okay or any other company or you name any other ordinary company who are not it company but this is an it <coughs> sap is an it company right it product company it product because they created this product called sap system all these ibm accenture are called service in service based companies they do services via using this product to other clients got it now what will happen now when the suppose for example coke came in coke said okay i choose a i uh, accenture as my as my implementation partner what do you mean by implementation that is my development partner for developing sap hr system in my company okay based on my policies using sap cum sap product accenture will develop the sap you know using sap application they will develop hr operations for me in my company based on my policies now what will happen accenture will immediately start hiring sap hr people in the market those who have got trained in this sap hr they will start hiring once they hire they will go to the coke and say boss if you want to implement this particular sap hcm you need to buy a database layer you need to set up an application layer then you will have your laptops connected to your presentation layer so the database is one like a you they will say in your office coke in your office you need to set up a room for data servers am i clear yes yeah. they will say data servers and all the servers has to be you know maintained there is an application layer so you need to hire apart from sap hr consultants or uh, analysts or anybody you also need to hire somebody called database management executive or manager or somebody like that and this is a setup that you need to do then they will say connect all your desktops via lan there should be a remote you know vpn technology you know that re vpn means remote access all yeah. the hardware and software activities you need to set up then only sap hcm can be implemented in your company since okay. coke is a biggest company they have lots of money they will say i have no problem so the installation and implementation of hr systems 
cost nothing less than one to two crores. Oh. Okay. Now, but, but the return on investment every year will be high because it is one kind of a robust system that you're going to implement. Am I clear? One particular robust system. That means once you set this up, there will be no issues at all. But yes, certain overhead maintenance, certain overhead costs, etc. will be high. Okay. Got it? So every year what will happen? They have to renew their license. Everything they will do. But their return on investment. TK, you have invested one. Today you have invested one crore in a one flat today. But return on investment is that you are saving money on un unnecessary rents. You are saving money on unnecessary expenditure. You have your own house. Something like that, right? So this is similarly here also. You have your own, own application and a product for your coke activity. Am I clear? Is it absolutely clear or do you still have questions? Yes, no, no, it is clear. clear. Very clear, right? Now what happened? Yeah. Now you have implemented this. Now you are going on a on-premise. So, But you know, every year or every month, you will have an overhead cost, overhead details, etc., etc. You maintain all these things. Now suddenly, in the year 2013, a new revolution came into the technology. What is this? It is called cloud solutioning. What is this cloud solutioning? Why? What is the success factors? What do we do with this? How is it helping others? Now, let me tell you. Because SAP HCM was a little, you know, older version, but a strong system. But there is a methodology of working on it. People used to write down wherever they wanted to go, whatever they wanted to do. Everybody used to get trained, understand. There was kind of a, uh, what do you call, uh, syntaxes that you need. See, sometimes like a key points that you need to key in into, to go to next screen or something like that. But when the new revolution came in, everything changed. You remember, guys? In your, in your, during your small, you know, when you were young, etc. Probably when you were small, you used to have a landlines where the phone used to ring. Well, phone used to be, you know, something like an ordinary telephone. Have you ever noticed? You are in your grandparents' yes, houses or parents' houses. You used to have a small telephones, yes, very strong. Yes, used to be always on the table. You cannot yes. do any mobile activity there. It is just a table. But in 2000, there was a revolution of mobile phones. Correct? Everybody using mobile phones. Now it's a smartphones. Everybody is using a smartphones. Correct? Now, what yes. is the difference? If it was a landline, only you have to go to that place and only dial and talk. You cannot move. But it was a, if it is a mobile phone, you can go anywhere talking. You can do any activity. You can send pictures. You can do everything. Similarly, cloud solution is something that now, what is the difference if you say, now, I'll just show you one particular screen, okay? Now, introduction to cloud solutioning. What is this cloud solutioning? When you say cloud solutioning, you will have such kind of a systems wherein it is based on a concept called SaaS, software as a service. Okay. For example, I'll quote a very, very uh, relatable core, this thing. All this while you had servant maids in your house, right? You were always waiting for servant maids to come and clean your houses, etc., etc. Everything was servant maids based, correct? Now, suddenly, if you have a robo, you just charge it and you, 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 you can make it clean every day, 24-7, non-stop. Just only thing is you are activating it through your voice or you through your mobile. How do you think it will be? Hello. Yes? No? Yeah. How will it be? Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Hello? Anybody there? Everybody's listening to me? Yes, ma'am. We are listening. Huh? Yes. Ah. So, now, okay. Now, one more example. All this while you had radios, right? FMs. FM yes, yes, Right. Yes, when yes. you have FM, 
you had to wait for the time for the station to play the songs for you. But now yes. you have Alexa, you have Google, you have Siri and all these things wherein you just tell them it will start playing for you. Correct? Yes. Whichever yes. song you want. So yes. what is the difference? Only the generation. <laughs> Technology generation. It's a technology difference, not generation. It's a technology evolvement. Okay. So based on the software as a service, what I mean to say is in the on-premise HCM, you had to set up a lot of activities, a lot of data, tables, etc. Everything extra overhead cost were there. But now okay. with the revolution of internet that's coming in place and taking into storm, you have you can store anything in the internet. Does internet require anything? You can use internet on the smallest of smallest phones versus your biggest of laptops or desktops, right? Yes, All you need yes. is an internet. Yes. Wherever we go now, we only say, ha, huh, I want an internet, please. Do you have an internet access? Give me the password. <laughs> Correct or no? Yes, yes or well. We yes. can't do without internet. Even if you're in beach, if you're in mountains, even if you're in snow, we want internet. Yes, Correct? yes, yes. Yes or no? So what yes. is it? So that means similarly in the offices also, they have mm -hmm. made an application in such a way that it is purely run on internet, but you do not, it is again related, it is again linked to a database server, but the database server will not be in your office which is a cost for you. Now you can say, I can buy a space in the cloud. How do you get the space in the cloud? The companies like Microsoft, the companies like SuccessFactors, the companies like, you know, your uh, Oracle, etc. Everybody opened their cloud database this thing, space, cloud data centers. What does this okay. data centers mean? You, it's just like, you know, instead of putting all the gold in your house, which is very risky, you will go and put it in a bank. Okay. Okay. So when you put it in a bank, when you do whatever you do there, you are accessing it whenever you want. Yes. So what is happening? You don't have to do extra cost on your in, in your house or in, in the same way. You don't have to maintain extra spaces for the office. You don't have to maintain extra <coughs> database for this. You just go and maintain. You just buy the data centers. They will maintain the data for you. They will be doing. You're only doing a licensing every month. And then you'll access the data via an application, success factors application. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. This particular thing started when a PeopleSoft work day was the first thing what data center that opened based on which other data centers opened by the big, big companies. Okay. Right. Now, what does work day do? Why is it different from other way? This thing success factors. Why did it become famous? Why is this SAP success factors became SAP has acquired success factors in 2013, whereby the success factors company, which was initially hosting all these uh, applications on Internet, became a part of SAP. So they any you know the SAP immediately said that it's SAP success factors and they started improvising on the application. Now, this application can be used for 50 people to 1 lakh, 20, 1, uh, 20 lakh people also. But whereas Workday, it can be used only for mid and big organizations. Okay. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Then, is basically success factor is a cloud-based application. It's a business solution. We say business solution means your day-to-day -day business activities can be solutioned there to meet okay. the need of the enterprise organizations and mid-sized companies. Now, the okay. difference between a cloud system and an on-premise system. On-premise system is whatever I told you, SAP HCM system versus the cloud system. Infrastructure. You need limited or no internal IT resources. We don't need too many people there. One person can handle everything in a cloud environment. But whereas an on-premise, you need a solid backup, looking, people, strategy, everything is needed. You can access cloud-based applications via mobile phones or wherever internet is available. But on on-premise levels, you take it on a 
you know, servers or Citrix or remote employees, etc. Hardware, reliable internet connections will be there. And, you know, you only need a reliable internet connection or a fast-paced internet connection or 300 Mbps connection. You know, but whereas in on-premise, you need to take a data backups regularly, software you have to take, you have to check out these disaster recoveries, you have to do remote access, network connectivity, etc. You need to ensure. Then configuration software customer think configuration. You don't see when you are implementing a project. I don't know how many of you were there in any project or you were not first time you are going into a project. I don't know. But if you are working on a project, usually on premise projects takes about literally 10 to one 10 months to one year time to develop the project. Whereas Cloud-based applications are already an inbuilt platform, which we will understand tomorrow again. That kind of a thing you will you will only develop within three months. Got it? So you are saving money for the customer. Imagine somebody you have to bear the expenses for one more year, and you are paying them lakhs and lakhs of rupees, but within which can be done in six months. Don't you think it is an you know greatest advantage for you? Yes. So yes. this is the difference between a cloud and a non-premise system. And on-premise system, I will talk about the methodologies tomorrow. But this is something that is very important for you guys to understand the difference between a non-premise HR system of the SAP versus the cloud version of SAP. As a you no know, system from the SAP. Am I clear, guys? Any questions still here? Please. No, ma'am, no doubt. Is the session interesting? Boring? Yes. No, 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 it's not boring. It's interesting. It is interesting. Right? You are understanding now. So, whenever you are saying you're just working on a particular thing, guys, remember never underestimate the thing, or I'm just doing my work. Please identify what is your role, what do you do, what you can contribute, what you are understanding, what is this application all about. Then only you can be a perfect consultant or a solution architect or whatever, you, wherever you want to go. Without understanding you do or, the, or understanding the concept you do, you will not, you might do it, but you are not doing it 100%. 